Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I brought the worst Xbox Series X that I could find on eBay and today I'm going to try and fix it. So just to put it into a little bit of context, I paid £273.99 for this Xbox Series X. That was £265 on bids and then the rest was postage. So I'll leave a US conversion just down below just so as you can see how much in US dollars it was. So the backstory on this is apparently the seller's son smashed the controller against the console and caused quite a bit of damage, quite a bit of irreparable damage. And yeah here we are so i bought it on ebay i thought it'd make an interesting video i don't have high hopes for this one so yeah hopefully you enjoy it though and hopefully we can have a little bit of fun while we're fixing it i do have some spares because i did work on a series x which i kind of overpaid for a couple of weeks ago and i couldn't fix it unfortunately so i do have a spare case and things like that so if i do somehow manage to get this working or maybe get one of the two working or one out of the two rather then you know i'll have some spares and hopefully make at least some of my money back what i've invested in the past couple of weeks but with that being said if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content i would really appreciate it if number one you get subscribed and turn on the bell notifications that way you don't miss any future videos and number two give the video an early thumbs up it really helps me to look more and more popular and it makes my parents proud of me so with that being said let's get into the video today's video is proudly sponsored by pcbweight.com pcbweight is the industry leader in custom printed circuit boards flexible printed circuit boards and even cnc and 3d printing right now you can get 10 percent off all cnc and 3d printing and five dollars off your first order for custom and flexible printed circuit boards personally i've used pcbway myself and i have to say that the level of service is second to none the order process was quick and simple and turnaround time was literally two days. From personal experience as a beginner, the whole process was super quick and easy to understand. Simply upload the Gerber files and you're off to the races. Being in the industry for over eight years, PCBWay definitely have the experience to deliver fast, high quality PCBs to get your next project started. PCBWay are also looking for new writers to join their creative team and with rewards from $20 to $100, it can be quite tempting. Simply head over to the links in the video description to learn more. Now back to the video. So, like I said, this is pretty badly destroyed and apparently it turns on and then turns straight back off. Like I said, it's probably not going to be fixable. The amount of damage to this, it looks like someone's really got angry on this. Now, I did take a look at the seller's other listings or the sold listings and back last year, I think it was sometime, the seller sold an Xbox One S with a similar kind of backstory. So either they've got a very angry child or they're lying. And <laughs> if, it's the, if it's the first one, yeah, I would not have bought my child an Xbox Series X uh, if they'd have done that to the first console. Honestly, I really wouldn't. But this case is beyond repair. Let's be real. The case is beyond repair, it's all smashed in the corner here. I can hear the plastics moving around, or what I assume are the plastics moving around. But yeah, this is this case is beyond repair. And like I said, I would not have bought my kid another one if they'd have done this to it. But, uh, well, some parents just spoil the kids. So, apparently this just turns on and then straight back off. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of damage has actually been done to this because there's not really much here. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it does beep and then turn straight off. All right, so while I'm disassembling this then, I do want to give a little bit of a shill to my Patreon page. So I am on Patreon if anyone wants to go and support me over there, but also, to my Twitch channel. So if, for those of you that don't know, I stream on YouTube on a Monday and a Friday, but I also stream on Twitch as well. And if you wanna go over there and support me, take some money out of Jeff Bezos' pockets because you think he's got too much, then you know, you're more than welcome to. There'll be a link in the video description. If you head over there, if you've got Amazon Prime, it's completely free to do. It doesn't cost you a penny. 
So you can link your Amazon Prime account, become a Prime subscriber. Completely free, gives me around about 250 every month, but yeah, it massively helps out the channel. I'm not gonna be reusing this sticker, which is why I don't care about destroying it, because yeah, I'm not gonna be reusing the case. No matter what, there's no way I can possibly reuse this case. So, <laughs> everywhere except for the part where I need to actually get two came off. But yeah, no way I can possibly reuse that case, so I may as well just destroy the sticker. I could have reused the back, but it really is pointless, honestly. There's no point at all in even attempting to save this case. Honestly, I hate these uh, Xbox Series Xs, because you do have to destroy the sticker to even get into it. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of damage has been done, though. By the way, do you like my new green mat? I decided to cover my entire desk in a green mat because, yeah, I'm sick of cleaning my mats. <laughs> I'm sick of dirt getting inside all of the little gaps on, the, on those blue mats. So today, I've covered my entire desk in one of those mats. Time will tell on whether or not it's any good. Uh, this, I think, might be liquid damaged. Hmm. There's something all over here. I don't think I'm getting the entire store over here. But we'll see when we get inside, I suppose. But hey, if I can use one to make two. I mean, I spent a fair amount of money on the last console that I bought. And right now I'm in the hole. So if I can at least get one working and pull back, the I would say the majority of my money, actually. Um, you know, spread across the two. So... If I can, for example, pull £400 back, then that's 70% of what I've paid for the two, and I'll have some spare parts to go with it. So, yeah. And hey, I'll get to make some pretty interesting videos on it as well. So, there's a fan. So that's a thing. Let's just pop that off. There we go. A spare base and I'm gonna get this disassembled at least partially I do have a strong suspicion that this is liquid damaged I have a very strong suspicion that this is liquid damaged and that I'm not getting the whole story here I've got a feeling this damage happened and then it's been liquid damaged since to be honest but hey I'm too quick to judge I acknowledged that a couple of weeks ago in another video. I am far too quick to judge. So, yeah, we'll see. But, I don't like the look of whatever it is all over this console. There we go. Fun fact, these disc drives are the same as the Xbox One X. So, that's only really worth about £20. Right, okay. Oh, wow, that's had some beating. Oh, ho, ho, no. This is going to be an APU fault. Oh man, the heat sinks took a battering. Yeah, this don't look good, does it? And um, I, I don't know if I can actually change the south bridge. I'm not sure. Or oh, not the south bridge, the south bridge board. But this has took a beating. I've got a feeling this has damaged the APU, to be honest. It might be over quickly. But hey, if we can get one working out of the two, then, you know, all's well that ends well, I suppose. Because I do still have the other one, which I was meant to be revisiting, actually. Okie dokie. So, yeah, I don't have high hopes whatsoever for this. Just as I'm going along, I'm seeing more and more damage Come on. Ah. Wow, that was really tough to get off, actually. Ooh. It's the APU board, which is knackered. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. So, the way these boards are designed, they're split in two. And this one here is the Southbridge board. 
and this one's the APU board. And let me show you what I'm seeing here. It's been crushed. It's been crushed. So, yeah. I very much doubt that I'm going to get this working. But, that being said, is it just that we've got some damaged components here? I mean, we never know, right? We could just have some damaged components here and, you know, fixing them might fix it. We don't know. Until we actually look, we don't know. But it looks to me like there's internal layers being crushed, which is not going to be good. Don't think it's going to matter if I use even pressure on this APU, to be honest. Right, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got to laugh else I'll cry. I didn't expect this much damage. Wow, that's... Um... That's internal layers split. Yeah, that's... I think that's a bit too far gone, to be honest. think that's a bit too far gone. So this is going to need a complete new board. by the looks of it I mean I can I can try just peeling this off but I'm gonna say at a bare minimum at a bare minimum it's probably damaged the RAM I mean this could all just be ground here maybe and if that was the case, then it, it is possible that it could be fixable. So I'm just basically scraping this a little bit. You'll have to excuse the reflections that are coming off the metal, well, the shiny bits of the APU and stuff. But, uh, yeah, very, very doubtful that this is going to be fixable. Just, wow, I can't believe he's done so much damage. I mean, I can't be mad. I kind of, uh, I kind of expected to get something bad, but... Honestly, it's a little bit gutting to see that kind of damage. And then I cut my finger. Lovely. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I just cut my finger doing that. Damn it. Well, technician's plaster. Technician's plaster. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just carry on for a minute, shall we? But yeah, honestly, I don't think I'm going to uh, ever get this working. But I do want to inspect the APU though, because it could come to a point where I could potentially use the APU in the future. It doesn't look cracked, so I don't think the APU is going to actually be damaged. And honestly, this here should just be a ground plane. So I'm going to say, if anything, it's probably damaged the RAM. The problem is getting hold of some of that RAM. I don't know where I'll get any from. Uh, yeah. SSD seems fine. So there's a bit of money in the SSD. I mean, I'd probably get £100 for that. Maybe more. So there's a, a little bit of money in the SSD. So I'm not seeing any more 
damage to the board apart from around that edge, which is really, really odd that that would cause it to not turn on. You know, that on its own, given the fact that, I mean, most engineers, I mean, I don't know how this is designed because obviously we haven't got schematics, but most engineers, what they would do is just as, you know, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically typical board design would be that you'd have the outer ground plane and you'd have that going all the way through the board. So the board isn't just two layers. It's not just a top and a bottom. It's several layers, something like six or eight layers sandwiched together. And most engineers, what they would do is this outer ground plane here, they would do that throughout the entire board. And the reason for that would be for stuff like this. Like, for example, um, you know, you wouldn't want the ground plane here to basically uh, short out with other layers. And the fact that the screws are used for grounding and you've got the, you've got, well, basically access to the internal layers visible through the screw holes they would tend to put a ground plane all the way through. You wouldn't run a trace right on the edge of the board, or you wouldn't run, wouldn't run a circuit right on the edge of the board. This board don't appear warped either. It doesn't appear as though it's been bent. Uh, I mean, maybe a little bit, but that just that could just be a trick of light because of the fact that we've got damage around this outer perimeter here. But if you look here, we've got a ground plane on this side here. And then we've got another green plane matching on this side. So why would they ever put anything in between, if that makes sense? You would probably keep the green plane running all the way through, just so as you can transfer that green plane through to other layers, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I honestly don't understand why that would cause, on its own, why it would cause... Uh, a beep on beep off could something have come loose and that was causing it to beep on beep off yes absolutely which is why i am going to put it back together and just give it a whirl oh wow that viscous paste is solid already they've only been out just over a year so i am going to put it back together enough for testing but honestly the hopes of actually fixing this yeah slim to none but that being said i do need a esd protection pack ESD dial pack whatever you want to call it which is basically where is it where are you it's there so I need one of these chips here to fix another board and you can't buy them so maybe I can get some use out of it and then just use it as donor parts I don't know but we'll see Let's just put a minimal amount of thermal paste on there. I'll be absolutely gobsmacked if, uh, if this turns on now. Alright, let's just take a quick look at the outer edge on this board. I mean, this one seems fine, honestly. So, maybe I can get some use out of this board. I don't know if they're interchangeable. But maybe I can get a little bit of use out of this board if I can't fix the other one. You know, by keeping it for a spare board. Maybe get hold of a APU board with a matching disk drive board. I don't know. But we'll see. So I'll put this back together loosely for now. All right, slight jump cut there. I did just run out of storage space. Um, never mind. I am just going to show you the fact that uh, it is still the same one. I uh, don't want anyone thinking I've swapped the board just in case this does turn on. But slight jump cut there just because I've run out of space on my hard drives. God damn. I've bits falling off everywhere. So yeah, not a huge not a huge chance of this turning on. So literally all I've done is just basically made sure nothing's shorting out and made sure all of the connections are tight and that's pretty much it. question is does it turn on <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, of course he don't. Of course he don't turn on. <laughs> he must be crazy. Wow, what the hell? Nah. All right, so let's see if let's see if it's going to be the fact that the APU board is damaged. I'm going to say it probably is. Um, so we can rule out what the, what board it is by just putting another board in. So I think I think that's going to be the plan. Just basically drop a board in, like a replacement APU sideboard. Just to know which area we need to focus on. But I've got a feeling it's damaged the RAM, to be honest. So I'll grab an APU board. Okay, so here's one from another video which I couldn't fix. Funnily, this one's only got a display issue, though. It's not got major issues. It's just got a display issue which I can't seem to fix. So... Yeah, <laughs> hopefully I'm going to get at least one out of the two here. Actually, let's try... It's probably not going to work, but let's try a power supply. Just make sure he didn't do anything to the power supply first before I start messing with anything else. Right, so I'm going to... I'm going to remove this little daughter board thing here because, well... I'm not going to be reusing this case anyway, so I might as well reuse the daughter board and just take it out so as I can use it outside the case, sort of thing. That's just that's just going to allow me to test it a lot quicker, I suppose. Huh. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm confused because the button's not working, but it worked when I pushed it in the other way. Okay, I need to find out which way this actually goes. Okay, so this this console turns on with the power supply from the one that I bought today. So it's definitely a board issue. Okay, so for some reason this one's not turning on at all now. So that power button doesn't appear to be turning it on for some weird reason. I don't know why. Hmm. All right, well, let's start swapping some parts. So, Let's start off by swapping the... Well, actually, I'm going to try... This board. So this is the one I bought today. I'm going to try this board with my working... Well, quote working APU board. So the reason I say working is because technically it turns on, but it doesn't display anything. Because I don't know if they're interchangeable either. Don't have a clue if they're interchangeable or not. But we're about to find out. Well, that's assuming that the Southbridge board works on the one that I had today, but it doesn't look damaged. So, yeah. That's my known, well, sort of working Southbridge board. There we go. This is my new 
Sainsbury's board. So I'll move that to one side for a minute. This is the one with the damaged APU board. To be fair, it's 99% 90, chance going to be this board, which is 40, the main APU board. That doesn't turn on at all. Doesn't turn on at all with that safe bridge board. Hmm. So are these not changeable? We're about to find out because my APU board definitely worked. Well, it appears that you can't. Either that or that board don't work. One of the two. Either that board don't work, or you can't swap them. Which is weird. Because I would have expected the safe bridge board to work. Unless you have to swap the SSD because it's married to the SSD, which I can't see being the case. Yeah, so that's not pairing up. All right, well, I doubt very much how I'm going to be able to fix the one that I bought today, which sucks. I do have a £50 power supply which I probably will resell because I need to recoup something. Man, look at the state of this new bench already. So before I actually write this off, what I am going to do is just give these three RAM chips here a reflow. The reason for that is because it's very close to where the damage is. And it could very well have damaged those RAM ICs. It could have cracked the solder balls underneath. So I am going to give those RAM ICs a reflow on this machine. Or on this board, rather. And just give it a whirl. See what happens. See if it makes any difference at all. So here's the three RAM ICs in question. And there's the damage. So we've got some very visible damage there and actually yeah that doesn't look to me like just one single ground trace that looks to me like actual physical traces wrapping around so yeah I don't think it's going to be worth doing that now I'm seeing this under the microscope yeah that's actual layer damage Yeah, so it looks like the layers are actually fused, or rather, making a contact with each other. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to be fixable. Honestly, I'm just doing this for my own curiosity now, but yeah, I think that's too far gone. <laughs> I think I should stop. I think that's way too far gone. I don't think I can separate those layers at all. I should definitely stop. Ouch. All right, I think I think I've seen enough with this. <laughs> it, it, it's screwed. <laughs> oh, I've got to laugh or I'll cry. Oh dear.
Okay, well, at least I've got the chip I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. At least I've got the chip I need. So I need one of these chips. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take this off. So before I do that, I'm going to prep this one. So this is one that I worked on previously, not including this Southbridge board. I don't, I don't think these Southbridge boards are changeable. I don't know, but I don't think they are. But, you know, I'll have to keep it as a donor board, I suppose. All right, so I'm going to remove the ESDIC that I need from the other board, which is just there. So this is a small BGA. Okay, let's just solder this on. All right, well, hopefully that does the job. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I don't have a short to ground here. I do not have a short to ground. Sweet. So, that's pretty much done. Hopefully. Now I've just got to figure out which board belongs to what console. Because <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's this one. But honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll worry about thermals later, which means I'll worry about the thermal paste later. Let's just see if we get a display on this one. So the issue with this one was the fact that I was getting no display and even after changing the encoder and bypassing the ESDIC, I was still getting no display. So we'll see. All right, so I've got a 50-50 chance of getting this right in terms of the daughter board or rather the secondary board. 50-50 chance of getting it right. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's just see if we are feeling lucky today, shall we? Probably not. <laughs> Knowing my luck, probably not. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look. I think that's the wrong daughter board. Yeah, I think that's the wrong daughter board. I'll, I'll keep calling it a daughter board. You know what I mean. All 
Okay, that turns on. But the question is, can I get a display out of this one? If I don't, then it'll be another video. All right, let's take a look. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. Nope, didn't get a display out of it at all. Well, that's rather annoying. Not going to lie. Well, I've just tried it in the TV as well. It's not picking up in the TV either. So, I'm thinking full HDMI rebuild on this. Um, that's going to include reboiling that ESDIC as well. That sucks. Turns out that was one angry kid. I don't believe a kid can do that to a console at all. I do not believe a child can do that. I don't think a child has got the strength to do that. I don't think a child has got that much anger to do that. And if they have, they need serious help. Because that was a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say on this one? There is just no way of fixing that. But it will get stripped down for spares. I'll sell the SSD. Um, someone can use it. I'll sell uh, the power supply, the disk drive. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll make some money back at least. So, unfortunately, yet another console which I couldn't fix, but it was definitely interesting just to see the kind of damage that it did. That was one angry child, man. That was one angry child. But I'm not convinced. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think the child did it? Do you think the dad did it? Uh, you know, that, that looks to me like an adult work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. But that's going to be for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I do enjoy reading what you guys say and, you know, it gives me something to look forward to when I'm reading comments and replying to comments and things like that. I don't always get a chance to reply, but I do read every single comment and... Yeah, like I said, I do enjoy reading the comments. You know, sometimes I'll look, just be flicking through them and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll reply to that later and then I'll just forget. But other times, you know, I do actually reply. Um, I reply when I can and, you know, that hasn't been as much as I wanted to lately. But, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. We do get busy. But let me know what you think down in the comments down below. If you do enjoy this type of content and you are new to the channel, then feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications. And that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you want to support me in my crazy endeavours buying this kind of crap, then you can head over to Twitch, become a Twitch Prime subscriber. You can become a Patreon supporter using the link in the video description. You can become a channel member using the join button below the video. Or there's a donate link in the video description as well. I really do appreciate all of the support. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I am, of course, going to be doing a revisit on the other Xbox that I, you know, half assed attempt. I mean, it's 3.33 a.m. So, half assed attempt at trying to fix this other Xbox, but I will give that another revisit. So, be sure to get subscribed if you want to find that video. So, yeah. That's something to look forward to, I suppose. Hopefully I can use this smashed up console to fix the uh, the other one. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so that's going to be for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.